Okay. Now, everybody in here knows the difference between a health food and a junk food, right? Do you? Okay. Sugar. What's sugar? It's a junk food. And the reason it's a junk food is because it's the ultimate junk food. Basically, a junk food is what we call empty calories. It gives you calories with no nutrients. And this is per tablespoon. As you can see, sugar has 50 calories. And it doesn't have anything else but a little bit of carbohydrate. So pretty much you could say sugar is the epitome of a junk food. Correct? So what I'm going to do over here is put one of today's health foods, and then over here I'm going to put the second of today's health foods. And regardless of the marketing, if the numbers are worse than sugar, what does it make these health foods? Junk. Does anybody know the first one I'm going to put up? Olive oil. Now let's go by the numbers per tablespoon. How's it doing on calories? Two and a half times. Does it have any protein and amino acids that you need, essential amino acids? No. Does it have any carbohydrates and glucose for your brain and muscles? No. Does it have any fiber to keep you regular and life going smoothly? No. Does it have any fat? 14 grams. Now here's, I know we're covering a lot of information, so I want to help you here with this question, because I know it gets a little confusing. Does olive oil have omega-3s? And before you answer, let me help you out. Omega-3s, are they a mono or a poly? Poly, very good. Olive oil, is it a poly or a mono? Mono, very good. So does uh, olive oil have omega-3s? A trace. Does it have saturated fat? 14%. Remember, all fats are a mixture. Does it have any vitamins? Well, it's got a little trace of vitamin E. Does it have any minerals? To get enough omega-3s, you'd have to drink or somehow consume 8 ounces of olive oil, which is 1,900 calories and 42 grams of saturated fat. Is that a good idea? How many of you know that two tablespoons of olive oil have three times the saturated fat of four ounces of white meat chicken? How many of you know that two tablespoons of olive oil have the same amount of saturated fat of four ounces of lean beef? Now, people aren't putting chicken and beef on their salad if they're trying to limit saturated fat, but what are they doing with their olive oil? They're just pouring it on. Now, let me add one more perspective of this to you just to help drive this home. Let's say you were going to invite me out for lunch. Just imagine that you would invite me out for lunch, okay? I could be fun. <laughs> and you said, hey, Jeff, let's go out for lunch tomorrow. And I said, thanks, but I'm not going to go because I've gained some weight this year. Imagine I gained some weight. And I'm trying to lose the weight. I'm very careful about what I eat. And you'll probably just make fun of me. And you say, no, no, Jeff, we like you, you're funny, come on for lunch, we won't make fun of you. So I say, okay, so tomorrow we go out for lunch, we get to the restaurant, and you order, and I order, and I order a really big salad. And I then reach for the olive oil, and I pour some olive oil on my salad, and I mix it up real well, and I eat the whole salad, and that's all I have for lunch. Would that seem unusual to any of you? No, in today's world, everybody's doing it. In fact, we have books telling you it's the best way to lose weight. But what if instead of reaching for the olive oil, I had my big salad and I took out my handy dandy cooler? Because when you're on a diet, you carry a cooler with you. And I reached in the cooler and I took out a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Now you want to invite me with you, don't you? I told you I could be fun. Then I take out a half cup scoop. Because when you're on a diet, you measure. <laughs> and I put four or five scoops of Ben and Jerry's ice cream on my salad, and I mix it all up, and I eat the whole thing. Would that seem unusual in any way? Yeah. What would you think of me? That I'm not. Guess which has more calories, two tablespoons of olive oil or a half a cup of premium ice cream? Olive oil. Two tablespoons of olive oil have more calories than every ice cream, have more calories than most all premium ice cream. Right. 
Now, I understand the type of fat is different, but when it comes to weight, what matters most? Type of fat or calories? Calories. calories. So which would be worse for you? The olive oil. Now, let me ask you a question. Which do you think would taste better? <laughs> the ice cream. Which do you think would be more satiating? The ice cream. So for 20 years, Americans have been ordering salads, putting olive oil all over it. They're getting heavier. It's not satiating, and it doesn't taste good. Me? I put Ben and Jerry's on my salad. <laughs> it tastes good, it's filling, and I haven't really gained any weight. And you called me nuts. I'm the only sane one here. Mm -hmm.